Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about Psycho Template Inheritance. This is one of those things that's not only going to be beneficial to content authors, who we've been focusing quite a bit in our past videos, uh, but also us, developers. So what is that, and why is it important? Well, as a developer, you can benefit it from template inheritance in a couple of ways. The inheritance concept falls right alongside the component-based architecture of Sitecore, where we naturally create large uh, content pieces out of smaller reusable components. So, if implemented correctly, what you'll find yourself doing is moving away from creating new templates and new code to support the new templates, to rather reusing your existing templates and code, which dramatically decreases uh, the time it takes to develop new features. And then the second benefit involves dramatically decreasing the time that it takes to modify any of the existing uh, templates on the website or pages. So instead of making a change to every single page on the website, uh, if implemented correctly with template inheritance, it would only suffice to make a change to the base template, which would then propagate to all the other templates on the website and affect the items created from those templates. Now, there is one caveat to inheritance. And that caveat applies to both types of inheritance, presentation inheritance, uh, presentation layer inheritance, and uh, field section inheritance, which is deltas. Now, now what Sycor does is it stores the delta, the difference uh, between the item's value um, in the item that's created from the template and the default value uh, in the standard values of that template. Now, once the item is created from a template, it keeps the link to that field or to that presentation layer uh, details uh, field. And once that link is broken, the changes to the base template will no longer apply to all the items inheriting from that template. So for instance, let's say if we have a generic page template and we create a generic page item from that template, the, let's say the title field on that template would inherit the base uh, default value of the generic page template title field. Now if we go into the template standard values and modify that default value, it will also update the title field on the generic page item that we created. However, if we update that field on the item directly and then make another change to the template, that change that we apply to the template will no longer reflect um, on the title field in the item that we created. So let's take a look at all that and how we can use inheritance in our solutions. So what I have here again is an empty Sitecore instance. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and follow our best practice of content organization and create a demo folder for our demo website. Following the component-based architecture, we'll go ahead and create the components folder, which will host all of our components. And for the sake of the demo, we'll have a metadata component, and we'll add a article component. So the metadata component will host all the section, all the fields and all the templates that relate to the page metadata, where the article component will host all the templates that relate to any type of article that will exist on the website. Now what we'll also do is create another site folder for templates called pages, and that's where all of our pages will live. So first, when we start building a new site, we would want to create something along the lines of a generic uh, base page template. So we'll call it a generic page. Now we know that all of our pages will need the metadata fields. Now instead of creating these fields directly on the generic page, what we'll do is we'll create a metadata section in our metadata component, and we'll add those fields there. We'll call the section metadata, and let's add a page title field, and we'll keep it as a single line text, and let's add a uh, meta description field. And we'll make that a multi-line text field. We'll go ahead and make use of standard values and take a shortcut with 
a name token, which would allow us to populate the page title field immediately um, upon the item creation. So the next step is to inherit the metadata uh, template from the generic page template. And we can do that by clicking on the generic page template, going to the content tab, and simply selecting the template that we'd like to inherit from, and moving it over to the right section, and save. Now if we go to the generic page and enable our uh, standard values, we now see the metadata section being part of that template. So let's go ahead and create a home item based on our generic page template. We'll call it home. And now, as you can see, the home page also has the metadata section because it is being inherited from the metadata section that's inherited by the generic page template. So now, let's say we need to add another section to the home item. So instead of again going back to the generic page and adding a section here, uh, we can create another section template and inherit that section from the generic page template again. Let's go ahead and create another item for demo purposes and call it page one. So that way we can see that all of the items that inherit from the same template get updated when that template gets updated. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and add an article section to all of our pages. And the article section will consist of a simple title and content fields. So we'll call it an article title and we'll leave it as a single line text and we'll add content and make that a rich text field. Go ahead and save. And again, enable standard values and make use of the name token for the title field. Now again, let's go back to our home and page one items. As you can see, we only have metadata section applied here. So let's go ahead and add an, the article base template to our generic page template. Oh, let's see. Drag it over to the right side and save, control S. Now let's make sure that it got applied correctly, and it did. We have the article and metadata sections. Now let's check the home item, and there it is. So as you can see, changes uh, to the base template when uh, using template inheritance also apply to pages that were created from that template. Now, notice how we have the name tag, uh, the name token not expanded here. This is because the tokens again get expanded upon items creation. So let's say if we wanted to update the default value in the article uh, title field that we have for all the pages. So for that, all we'd have to do is simply navigate to the base article template and modify this title to an, uh, let's say, awesome article. Now if we go back to home, and page, we have both of those title, uh, titles updated to the new value. Now, let's go ahead and modify this title field directly on the home item. Let's say uh, we'd like to have a different title on the home page. Now, what I mentioned previously uh, about the inheritance is once you modify a field that has an inheritance link back to the standard values template, that breaks that inheritance. The delta still keeps the keeps track uh, of the changes, but now any change to the template standard value to the default value of the of that field in the uh, data template standard values that's a mouthful will not affect the item. Let's uh, let's take a look. So we modified the title field, and let's add some emulsion to that. So we added a couple exclamation points. So let's check page one. Now we do have that change reflected here. And on the home page, we still have our welcome message. So as you can see, the, the new value in the title field of the template standard values did not reflect on the field that was modified directly on the item. So this demonstrates uh, template inheritance using field sections. Now next, we'll take a look at how we can apply inheritance 
uh, using presentation uh, details. So as we know, we assign our presentation layer details on standard values of the template. And what we'll do in this case, so we'll just simply reuse the default layout that comes with a Sitecore default instance. And we'll just add a layout for demo purposes. We'll save. Now, let's go ahead and check our pages. And we have the same presentation applied to all the items inheriting from that template. So in a review, template inheritance can save a lot of time to both content editors making changes to the existing implementation as well as developers building new features. Hopefully by now you start recognizing the enormous potential of inheritance and different strategies and the complexities and the benefits that you can gain by using template inheritance. Hopefully you'll start implementing the component-based architecture and promote reusability in your cycle projects going forward. So this was template inheritance and again my name is Vasily Fomichev and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP. For more tips like this check out the cmsbestpractices.com and I will see you next Friday. Over and out.